Now to vote 2022, a month after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Connecticut Democrats are campaigning hard on abortion rights. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven tonight reporting on whether it will resonate with voters. Abortion is legal in Connecticut. In fact, the state just expanded access. Still, it's becoming a major campaign issue. I've never backed down when it comes to choice, and I never will. Governor Lamont says abortion rights are on the ballot this fall. Ned Lamont wants businesses to move to Connecticut because of our abortion laws. Meantime, his Republican opponent says abortion is a non-issue here. We asked Bob Stefanowski about it on Connecticut Power and Politics. But how can you say that? Patients are already traveling to Connecticut. Um, and other states have laws to go after anyone who helps them get an abortion here. I'm worried about the residents of Connecticut, John. Roe v. Wade is codified into Connecticut law. I've consistently, consistently said I'm not going to change that. Senator Richard Blumenthal also campaigning on abortion. He's pushing Congress to protect patients who have to travel. Women have to return to their home states at some point, or they may very likely want to go home, and there they face criminal prosecution. Even some doctors are nervous about lawsuits, or worse. It would also allow me to continue to perform my job as a high-risk pregnancy physician without the fear of civil lawsuits. Abortion is also an issue for Blumenthal's Republican rivals. Themis Claritus is pro-choice. Her two opponents are not. The question is, in a state like Connecticut, where abortion is firmly legal, will it be enough to sway voters away from the economy? In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.